This is day one of week one of my ward placement. It is half past four in the morning. I've got up, I've washed. Actually, no, it's probably about five o'clock now. I've done my face and I'm just currently doing my hair, which needs to go up. It has to be up and off the shoulder for your nursing, just so you know. Uniforms ironed and ready, I'm waiting. And I'm so tired, I'm so tired. I plan to leave in about 30 minutes and get to placement for about quarter past six. And then I've got 45 minutes to sit down, find my way around, have a cup of tea, have some breakfast when I get there. And yeah, so hopefully the day's gonna be okay. I shall speak to you all later. So I'm here, I'm ready. I've got my badge, I've got my fob watch, I've got my pen and everything. Um, just waiting to start now. I'm just gonna go and have a cup of tea before I start because I'm about half an hour early. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna meet the team. Hopefully it's gonna be an amazing day, but I'll let you all know after. So see you later. So that is me finished. It's half past seven. Um, I've been on my 12 and a half hour shift. I'm absolutely knackered. I've just went round doing all the personal care, the washing and dressing, helped with meal times. I've done a couple of injections. I did some urine testing, sent some samples away. I, what else, did some wound dressings. I love wound dressings, so I was happy to do wound dressings. So I did the, I did the wound dressings. I was chuffed with that. And what else did I do? I did the assessment tools, I've done observations, I've literally done literally everything, a bit of everything on this ward. But this ward I'm on is orthopaedics and trauma, so it's mainly hip replacements and knee replacements. There's a couple of back injuries that are on there and it was really nice to just interact with patients again and I just... As much as I don't like the wards, I'm not a ward nurse. I've just been back on the ward today and I'm just like, do you know what? Give me my GP surgery back. I want my GP surgery because I'm just not a ward nurse. I can't even explain. I just don't know why. I just, I'm not a ward nurse. I've said that about a hundred times now, but I can't explain it because I don't know what it is about the ward because I just, I just don't know. I just, I love being in general practice because I feel like I have a lot more time for patients in general practice, even though you're restricted to 15 minute slots. I feel like I manage a patient far better than on the wards, but it's fine. I've survived my first shift. I'm off tomorrow and I'm back on Wednesday and Thursday, two long days in a row. So that's gonna kill me. So yeah, so I'll see you on Wednesday. I'm gonna have an amazing day off tomorrow. I'm gonna see you all then. So today is Tuesday, it's my day off and I just wanted to run through with you a little bit more about my first day back on the ward. So throughout the day I worked alongside the healthcare assistant but I also did a drugs round and things with my mentor and she was asking me questions as we went around and I, lit I literally, my brain went blank. It was as if I've never been on a ward before. <laughs> I, just, I don't know what happened. Um, so I felt, I felt so embarrassed, like I'm, I'm getting embarrassed thinking about it. But she said to me, do you know what a PCA is? And I was like, I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue, I've just done it. <laughs> like I've just had training about pain management and PCA. If you don't know what PCA is, it's patient controlled analgesia. I know this, I know it, I know it. I've done it before. Why did I say no? And I was there like, like I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think I was just so nervous because I haven't been on a ward for like since last year on first placement. So I was just a bit like, I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it was so bizarre. She must think I'm an absolute Wally. Like she must think I'm just this awful student that doesn't know anything. So come tomorrow when I'm back on placement, I'm going to know it, I'm going to bring it, I'm going to be on the ball, I'm going to show her the real student nurse Claire Carmichael that I am. <laughs> but I just, reflecting on it, I, I, I could have done better and I could have calmed myself down and I could have thought, do you know what, this is okay, this is a safe place, the staff are lovely, the ward's beautiful, the patients are amazing, you've got nothing to worry about, so I should have just slapped it out of me and just carried on. So yeah, so that's a bit of an honest reflection for you. I was a wally yesterday, I was terrible. And tomorrow's gonna be a better day. So I'm gonna vlog tomorrow, I'm gonna tell you all about it, I'm gonna tell you how amazing my day's gonna be and how much knowledge I'm gonna bring to that ward because I feel like I've got so much more to bring to this ward and 
bring out the best in myself and let them see that because yesterday was a letdown. I'm very disappointed in myself. So tomorrow I'm going to bring it. I'm going to hopefully have an amazing day and just really redeem myself. This is day two of my placement. I have just parked in the most dodgy place ever because my usual space was taken, which is very bizarre because the spot I always have is always free. So I've parked down this um, road. It's a little bit dodgy. I don't feel comfortable leaving my car there, mainly because the back end of it is just touching double yellow lines. Um, I'm hoping no one's gonna check and I'm not gonna get a ticket for that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but yes, I am early, it's quarter past six. I'm looking forward to hopefully redeeming myself today. So yeah, so let's go smash today and let's redeem myself. So that's it, I'm home. It's like half past nine now. You'll have to excuse this because I had to take my hair out because it was just really hurting my head. Um, so I'm back a little bit later because my fob watch decided to stop. The batteries ran out and we had a patient that was on literally five minute obs so it was really hard to try and look at the clock on the walls and try and calculate the respiratory rate so i've had to go to sainsbury's i've got my new fob watch which is working it's the exact same one as i had before it's working so i'm going to use that tomorrow so today has been a little bit better i've slightly redeemed myself because i pretty much saved a life may as well have so what happened i can't go into too much detail because of confidentiality but basically if anybody knows much about morphine morphine has the risk of giving you respiratory depression so if a patient is on morphine you have to give two liters of oxygen and monitor the observation a little bit closely because if they go into respiratory depression they can pass away so we don't want that so we had a patient that was on morphine and i did her observations and her respiratory rate was really low and i was like oh that's not good so i went and i got my mentor and i just said this patient's respiratory rate is really low it's such and such what do we do <laughs> basically because i've never had this happen to me before so i was like what do i do so she monitored it again and the respiratory rate was going down down like really critically low and I was just like oh my god so there's something called naloxone which is a reversal drug which is a reversal drug of morphine basically so if somebody overdoses on a drug if somebody has really bad side effects like this and goes into respiratory depression this drug is given to reverse it basically and bring the patient back now I've been taught this drug in university and we've been told about this drug but i've never seen this drug in action so today literally when when my mentor and another nurse gave this reversal drug it literally worked less than a minute it must have been about 30 seconds because i mean my patient was like she was really drowsy she was almost unconscious she wasn't responding and as soon as they gave it she was like bing hello i was like Oh my god that is fast acting oh my god so i've never seen that before so that was i mean it wasn't good for the patient but for me and learning from that just because we've had the theory behind it and then to see it in practice was actually amazing but what i didn't know was after you've given the reversal drug then you have to monitor the patient every five minutes because the the effects of morphine outweighs the drug the reversal drug so basically morphine is a longer acting and naproxone is literally just a fast acting so you have to keep monitoring for respiratory depression because she can go back into respiratory depression even though you've given the reversal drug does that make sense um am i speaking too fast it's really late so basically i had to keep an eye on these observations i'm hoping that she's going to be okay tonight because i just i don't know what's going to happen um, I've never seen this happen and it does make you worry and you sort of worry about your patient when you're home So I'm hoping when I get there tomorrow morning again, she's gonna be all right and That she's gonna be a lot better. So fingers crossed and all in all it's been a really good day to be honest It's been all right. It's been absolutely manic. I've been rushed off my feet. I'm really tired I'm going to now shower because oh my god, let me tell you this <laughs> Let me tell you this. So the reason why I have to shower is one, I smell, but two, 
uh, I was dealing with a patient in the morning and how do I say this in a polite way? So basically she leaked feces onto my trousers and down my leg. So I was there and I was like, oh, what has she just done? So in my head I was like, oh my God. On the outside I was like, okay, let's just sit you in the chair, get you sorted, blah, blah, blah. So I helped the patient first, obviously, and then afterwards I had to go and wash my leg. I had to wash my trousers down. Um, I washed it with soap and then I washed it with hand gel, anything that I could possibly think of, it went on my trousers. So uh, that was a little bit awkward. <laughs> and This is what you're going to have to deal with guys. If you've not done wards before, you're going to have to deal with feces, you're going to have to deal with urine, you're going to have to deal with blood, vomit, sputum, you name it, you're going to get it on your uniform. You're going to get it on your shoes. So make sure your shoes are leather and they are wipeable. Top tip. There you go. So yeah, so I got feces on me. I literally had a poo day. <laughs> so I'm gonna go shower and scrub my body now. This uniform is going on a boil wash and hopefully tomorrow's gonna be another great day for learning. I'm hoping my patient's gonna be okay. I also find out that we, because I'm coming to the end of year two, going into year three, I can be trained to do the blood glucose monitoring, the finger prick. So tomorrow there is a training session on that. So I'm gonna go over to that and experience that. So that'll be really good. It's really nice to do training and do a little bit extra on the wards I find. Like I like to do more and get those skills in where I can. So tomorrow should be a really good day. I'll update you. Um, how my day goes and then after tomorrow I've got three days off I know although technically I've only got one day off I've got Friday off then Saturday I'm at the uni for open day I'm gonna work and then Sunday I'm climbing Snowden if you don't already know I am climbing Snowden so I'm gonna vlog this I'm climbing Snowden for charity it's for the Cavill Trust charity I'm gonna put the links below and um, the Cavill Trust are an amazing charity that raise money to help healthcare professionals in financial difficulty so they're an amazing charity and i'm obviously raising money for you so i'm going to put the link below if anyone has any spare change pennies anything you've got wants to do donate for this amazing charity i'm going to leave the link below to the just given page this is a practice run just to make sure that we're all okay going up snowden and then the real run is the 13th of october so you've all got that to look forward to i'm going to vlog about it if i can I'm probably going to be dying up Snowden, not going to lie, I'm really unfit. So that'll be an experience. So I'll see you all tomorrow because, as always, I've rabbited on about nothing. So I'll see you tomorrow and good night for now. It's so early, I'm awake, but it's the last day of my last placement for week one and got to get through today and then I've got three days off come on let's remind myself this so I'm awake I've just had a wash I've done my face I need to do this hair <laughs> oh, I don't even know if I'm ready for today and I've arrived so I've just put my badges on I filled my pockets up what do I have in my pockets actually so I keep a notepad and a pen in my pocket and the handover sheet in my pocket yeah, so hopefully today's going to be good. I'm just going to go and make a cup of tea because it's 20 past 6. I'm 40 minutes early today. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to chill out, check social media and get started. I'll see you all later. It's Friday, which means I'm off. Oh, I'm so off. It's so lovely. But do you know what? Why is it? Anybody who's in nursing or healthcare profession that knows this, that does shift work, why do we wake up so early on our days off? It's driving me crazy. I fully planned to sleep until lunchtime today. I mean, I kind of knew it wouldn't happen. But, you know, I had the hope of sleeping half the day away because I'm so tired, I'm exhausted, I've had a really tough couple of days on the ward. And I woke up before seven this morning. I think it was about seven. Woke up because I was desperate for the toilet. So I woke up, got back into bed, hoping to get back to sleep. And then I just, I was tossing and turning for the next hour. So I actually properly come round and open my eyes about quarter to eight so I suppose that's a lion considering I've been getting up at half four in the world so, uh, I'll take it back I'm moaning for nothing <laughs> that's a lion so yes today I'm off and I'm just gonna talk to you about my day yesterday because I didn't get a chance to vlog by the time I got home I was so tired I had Chinese oh my god it was so good 
you know, I, f I finished my shift and you just, by the time I get home, it's nine o'clock at night, there's literally no chance of cooking at that time of night. By the time you've showered, got into bed, it's 10 o'clock. No, it's not happening. So I went to the Chinese, I got some chicken chow mein and some extra bean sprouts because I love bean sprouts. So yeah, it was amazing, it was really good. Anyway, yesterday it was manic. It was so, so busy. And there was nothing in particular that went wrong all of my patients were amazing oh my god so the, the patient that I was telling you about that was really deteriorating was amazing I got in I went over straight away I checked her and I was like she's awake she's alert she's doing amazing she's eating oh my god fingers crossed when I go back on Monday she's gonna be amazing still let's hope she doesn't deteriorate while I'm not there because oh, I'm just I'm gonna be panic about it. this is what happens when you work on the wards you panic about your patients when you're not there so all in all yesterday was a really good day we had three patients being discharged and then we had three new patients come in we had pre-op checklists new risk assessment tools for the patients that have come onto the ward as a nurse or a student nurse if you're working on the ward as soon as you get a patient admitted to you you have to do all of the checks so you'll get this risk assessment book it'll be different across trusts and what they do but for the trust that I work out, they have this risk assessment book that you have to fill out and it, it's a few pages long. It's all about the nutrition, the weight, the mobilisation, how do they mobilise, how are they planning to mobilise. It's got manual handling, it's got pain assessment, it's got skin integrity, so you have to do a head to toe assessment of their skin, make sure they haven't got any pressure sores or cuts, any unexplained wounds, blisters, moisture lesions, all of that jazz. Obviously with consent of the patient, some patients won't let you. Some patients are like, not a chance of you looking at my behind. So just take that on the chin and don't be offended if they decline and it's their right to decline. So that's fine. So you just document patient decline skin inspection, job done, you cover yourself. So what else can I tell you about yesterday? It was just manic, it, I was rushed off my feet. Nothing went wrong, so I'm not sure why it was manic, but it was. I think we were just short staffed on the ward. All the wards are short staffed at the minute, so you are completely rushed off your feet and you're trying to manage every single patient and do everything for every single patient and it's all at once and it's like, ah! So it was a bit of a manic day. My bones, my back's hurting, my legs are hurting, my feet are hurting, my whole body aches today. Today I'm literally going to spend the day recharging these batteries ready for the weekend because I've got a couple of things planned for the weekend and then back to it on Monday. I'm really looking forward to being back on Monday and learning some more. So that's it everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, if you hit the little bell button, you'll get a notification when I post because I'm sort of posting videos through the week or trying to post some extra videos through the week now as well. I've got, I have got a few videos coming up. So I'm gonna do one just purely about placements in general. I'm gonna answer the questions from the q and I did about placements and give you some advice, tips and things like that about placements. I'm gonna do one about assignment writing and how to just hopefully help you get a better grade, I hope. And they're the two main vlogs I've got coming up. There's a couple more I want to do as well, so there's a few. So just hit the subscribe button, you'll get the notification when the video's up. And yeah, just thank you so, so much for tuning in and watching. And I'm really looking forward to enjoying the rest of my day. And on Monday, I'm going to do it all over again and hopefully learn a lot more next week. So I've just had the most amazing news and I need to add it onto the end of this vlog because it's just incredible and I'm so, so excited for this. It's the best news I've had all week, honest to God. So basically for third year at our university we can apply for something called the Community Rotation Programme. I'm so excited, I can't speak. And um, I got accepted, yes! I'm so happy I'm gonna cry don't know what's wrong with me like I keep crying about things but these are happy tears I'm so chuffed that I've got my community placement I'm so so happy I wanted this so so bad you've got no idea you all saw me on my GP placement so to get the community rotation program for the whole of third year oh my god Birmingham City University you have just made my day this is literally live as it's just happened I've just read the email I had to share the news with you all I'm absolutely chuffed and it's just going to make the end of second year these last seven weeks on the ward just even better I'm so excited I'm gonna go and just chill out now because I've got so excited to make myself cry <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm such a sap but yeah I'm just yeah
See you all next week.